only one. Ah! Ever wonder how the Japanese restaurant makes a delicious hamachi kama? Well, me too. Let's make a broiled version today. So we're just gonna take one of these. You can find them at your local Asian grocery store. And typically they are frozen. You have the fish, some black pepper, one lemon, and some salt. I have one hamachi collar here. We're just gonna go ahead and rinse it. Go ahead and pat dry with the paper towel. Okay, now that your fish is clean, let's go ahead and give it a little salt bath. So here, I'll just do a pinch of salt on one side. And some black pepper. Let's do another pinch of salt. And some more black pepper. Let's go ahead and transfer it to a pan here. And we're gonna wait for our oven to broil at the correct temperature and set that in the oven when it's ready. Once your oven is heated, add the fish and set a timer for four to five minutes. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I couldn't capture me turning over the fish since the fish kind of fell. So we're gonna do another Ooh. four minutes on the other side. Let's take our fish out of the oven. You wanna have this type of crispy skin on top. That's how you know that it's finished. ahead and add half a lemon right on top now it's ready to eat go ahead and eat it with the side of rice or just eat it by itself whatever you feel let me taste test this for you mm, fish is super sweet there's actually so much meat on this. It's gonna be so tasty with some rice. The rice is still cooking. I just wanna divulge into this. If you guys like this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below if you guys like Hamachi Kama. Colorful, tasty! Mm. It's nice and crispy, moist. Four ingredients, super easy. You can make it. Bye guys. Thank you.